For the freshman year, the maximum student loan is $3,500. For the sophomore year, it's $4,500. For the junior and senior, it's $5,500 each year. And for the fifth year, if it takes you a fifth year, it's $5,500. Subsidized means that if it's part of the financial aid system, the government pays the interest on the loan. You don't have to worry about paying it back until after you get out of college and even graduate school and for two years after that. There are very good loans. They're in the process of going from 6.8% to 3.4% in three years. So they're going to be dropping every year. They're about 6% as we speak. In addition to that, there are other loans called uh, Perkins loans. Sometimes in the first year or two, if a student has a lot of need, what they'll do is they'll throw in a Perkins loan to level the amount of, of loans uh, over the four years. What pa some parents don't realize is that these loan limits these subsidized loan limits are also available as unsubsidized loans to anybody who wants to take them out. And sometimes I would recommend that since, you know, for parents, paying for college is not an investment, it's a bill. But for a student, it is an investment. Most of the, mo the most conservative estimates you can read would suggest that a student with a college degree is likely to make between $1.5 and $2 million more over his or her lifetime. So if you said to me, Paul, I'll tell you what, if you're willing to take out about $20,000 worth of loans over the next four years, you're likely to turn it into a couple of million dollars over the next 30. I'd have no problem at all cutting that deal. And for parents who don't qualify for financial aid, it's not the world's worst idea to consider having your child take out student loans every year, unsubsidized student loans, as sort of a tangible reason why they should get in and out of college in four years, because college is a lot of fun, among other things and it's a pretty good life and if you're on a free ride there's no real incentive to get in and out in regulation time when you can spend another year on campus if you want but parent but students who know that the first thing they have to do every year is to sign a promissory note for another student loan that fifth year of a four-year plan loses its luster in a hurry so one way to save money for your parents is to make sure your kids borrow student loans whether it's subsidized or unsubsidized every year I put in the term PLUS loan. I just wanted you to get familiar with it. PLUS loan stands for Parent Loan for Undergraduate Student. It's a federally underwritten loan that was designed for parents, and it was designed for parents not as financial aid. It was designed for parents to help them pay the family contribution in the event the parent can't afford the, the family contribution. So I put it here as financial aid, but it really isn't. I'm going to be re revisiting that idea in a few moments.